G'day, my name is David Troy. This is the David Troy Salon. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna do a long pixie cut, and I love the way this turned out. So, this is it here, and I love the sort of disconnected on top there. And I actually do all the haircut with a razor. But, you know, I felt like there's so many people out there that are doing razor cuts again and it's becoming more popular. So I thought I'd show you the way I do it. It's a really simple haircut, but I love the way this turned out. I love the disconnection to it and all the shortness and choppiness. So you know what guys, let's just jump right into the haircut. So before I even start the haircut, I put the serum in the hair. Now this is the David Troy serum that I've been working on. Now the reason why I use serum before I do a razor cut, it just makes the blade run through the hair so much easier. And it doesn't break the hair shaft where I don't want it to break in the middle. So you're not creating any frizz or any flyaways or things like that. We're going to end up with a really textured haircut. So this mannequin was a bob before I actually started doing this haircut. So what I've done, I've created a guideline from the very top. So my first section, you can see down the bottom where the hair drops out from my fingers. I'm just taking the blade, I'm working behind my hand and sliding the razor down to get a lot of texture. I want it pretty short in the crown area. So you can see just pulling it out at 90 degrees, sliding it behind my hand to create that texture. And working my way around, just pulling everything out at 90 degrees, Again, just taking it and you can see with the serum in the hair that the blade just glides right through. So we're not creating any flyaways or frizziness. With the razor, it's very important because I feel like a lot of people actually cut with the razor wrong. So before I even put the serum in the hair, I like to have the hair really wet. I just don't believe you should ever use a razor on dry hair because that creates the frizziness that we don't want to see. So working my way around the head, just pulling everything out, you can see my guideline at the bottom there. I'm going to keep a little bit of length and softness down the bottom because I am going to go back through and break that up. So before I even get into the top section, I'm going to go back through and break up that line a little bit because I don't want any straight lines in the haircut. So I just pull it out and you can see just working the, again the razor behind my fingers just to create that texture and that movement down the bottom. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit but again keeping a few long pieces here and there because no straight lines. There is so much freedom with this haircut. You know, we want to give it a lot of movement and a lot of texture. So now moving on to the top again, coating the hair in serum, making sure it's completely wet before we even start. Now I'm going to break the top section up into three pieces. So to start with, I'm going to bring it all forward, starting with the middle piece. It's sort of going to be a bit of a guideline for me. So I'm going to keep a strong side or a heavy side, and then I'm going to keep a weak side on the other side. So the weak side will be the short side. So I'm going to work on the weak side and bring everything over to that side. Make sure it's really short on one side and keeping the other side pretty heavy and strong. So this is where the disconnect comes into a work or comes into effect. Now just because one side's longer doesn't mean that you can only wear it one way. This haircut can be worn any way, any side. It just means you've got a weak side and a strong side. So now I'm just going to go ahead and dry it. Now I like to use a vent brush with the short hair and I like just to wrap dry it. Just pushing the hair in every direction. Look you can already see the texture come out. I love the way this haircut's working out. So I'm basically pushing everything in a forward direction or wrap drying it around the shape of the head. And then just going through with the Paul Mitchell flat iron just to smooth it out a little bit. Just mainly around the front, you know, the back's pretty short so we're going to get some spraying there to give it a little bit of movement but again just sort of smoothing the ends out just to straighten it a bit. Thank you. 
Now I'm just going to finish it off with the Salon Guys Locked Hairspray. I love this hairspray. It gives it a real gritty feel. Real matte finish. But it brings out the texture there. Look, I love the haircut. I love the way it turned out. absolutely love the way this haircut turned out. I hope you enjoyed this video and listen if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification so you know when I upload next and I'd love you to leave a comment down below let me know what you think.